Now pay attention, Dr. I've always tried to teach you two things. First, never let them see you bleed. And the second, always have an escape. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. This is it. Um, kind of a big moment for me. Uh, this is it. The last Thrifting for Bond video. Uh, not so much the end of Thrifting for Bond, but the last Thrifting for Bond video that I'll be doing to kind of commemorate and end the series, if you will, on a very special... I know you probably saw the thumbnail already, but yes. Thrifting for Bond, the Goldfinger suit. And I just say Goldfinger suit because I think it's the most iconic suit, if not in the film, if in the franchise. And I'm talking about Sean Connery's three-piece gray Glenn Check suit. It's beautiful. It's, again, iconic. And Sean Connery looks just so good in that suit. And one of my all-time favorite suits, obviously, because I'm going all out, and I am teaming up with a brand called Indochino to get a full homage, if you will, again, but for a fraction of the price of the original suit. So I'm so excited to bring you guys with me on this journey. Uh, they know we're coming. I told them, I let them know, I gave them a dossier uh, of what to do, what to look for in the suit and what specifically I want out of it. And uh, I'm excited to see how it turns out. This has been about a year in the making to get my very first made to measure suit. And what a way to end the series than being able to do this. And I'm so excited to share it with you guys. Let's go to the mall, get it started. And when you get back here, I'll be fully kitted. I know I'm doing some movie magic, if you will, but uh, bear with me, it's gonna be a lot of fun. We are here, I'm so excited. We are entering the Westfield Roseville Galleria Mall to get fitted for the Goldfinger finale suit. I'm so excited, here we are. It's right behind me. I'm gonna walk into Indochino. We're gonna go to every step of the process. You're gonna be seeing from the fitting to picking out the fabric to the fit, everything in between. I'm super excited. Here we are in Indochino, where everything is made for you, as you can see behind me. I'm so excited to be partnering with them to do this outfit, or to do this suit that I've been dreaming of for years. Ever since I saw a gold finger, it was something that I couldn't, I just couldn't stop dreaming of having. And um, Indochino is perfect when it comes to staying on a budget, but having a high quality product that will last for a lifetime. So I'm so excited to be recreating this suit. So let's check out the place. So as you can see, Indochino has an array of color patterns and just anything under the sun if you have a dream they will help you bring it into reality like look at those tuxes i mean they are amazing um not to mention the different accessories that they have uh they really do go above and beyond with customer service as well i walked in and all of the monitors their computer monitors were filled with imagery of Sean Connery in the three-piece suit from Goldfinger uh, and I even shout outs to Bond Suits Mr. Matt Spacer sent them the link to the actual article that he wrote up for even more specific detail about the suit. Uh, I was just overall impressed with the whole experience. It was a lot of fun to learn about what it took to get to this point. I got fitted and we just chatted about uh, Bond style. It was a lot of fun. If you guys are looking to get my exact suit or the base suit rather it's actually on the website under the Harrogate Glen check gray suit my specifics uh, for the jacket were just standard shoulder types uh, lapels were the notch lapels buttons were two for the single breasted 
All the buttons were gray. Inner lining was light gray. I opted for a waist pocket, pen pocket, functional button holes, um, and a functional button near. Even added a little monogram, which you'll see a little bit later on. The vest had seven buttons. Uh, inner lining for the vest was light gray, and it was with the notch style collar. Pants were one pleat. Unfortunately, they didn't have two pleats like the original film, but that was okay. Opted for suspender buttons, waistband belt loops, and again, gray buttons to match. And here we are with the final completed project. I am so excited for this, guys. Look how this turned out. Wow, all I can say is Indochino knocked it out of the park. I mean, oh, this is almost as screen accurate as you can get. I mean, all the way up to the detail of the fabric. Look at that. My goodness, the lapels are perfect. The vest lapels are perfect. The fit, as you guys can see, is perfect. Now, I think this takes the cake. I've had some really amazing thrifting for Bond videos when it came to things such as the tuxedo or the Matera suit or even some of the other classics like the No Time to Die jumper sweater. But this takes the cake because this, I'll be honest guys, has been a long time coming. This is my first made to measure suit ever and I think it is flawless. The way that it feels, as you can see, even see the, the pants, uh, correct pleats is with those as well. Uh, I think some of the smaller details, again, I got the, the ticket pocket here. Small hidden detail here. There you go, check that out. <laughs> um, super, super cool. I wanna say thank you to everybody at Indochino. Uh, thank you for working with me and uh, going along this whole journey of basically making an homage to the ultra iconic Sean Connery Goldfinger suit. I mean, uh, this is something that uh, they kind of informed me that I've never really done before, but they were excited to jump on and, and work on the project with me and to see my enthusiasm and see their enthusiasm was just so much fun uh, talking and chatting about style while I was getting fitted and the experience was amazing. If you guys have an opportunity to work with Indochino, do it. Their customer service is second to none and um, if you have a vision, they will complete it for you. So very very happy with the way this turned out for sure let me know what you guys think in the comments below and this is it guys it's kind of been an emotional journey for this one because this concludes the thrifty for bond series a journey that i started almost three years ago now where i did my first few episodes and now we've come to the final one uh, but that doesn't mean you guys stop hunting remember we started this journey with one mission in mind to create the iconic looks of 007 but without breaking the bank and it has definitely served not just some great outfits for me but some great memories and inspiring those to kind of do the same thing so if i could leave you guys with just being inspired to go out and find your own personal thrifting for bond moment then that means my mission was accomplished so i hope you guys enjoyed the whole series i had a blast making it and that again doesn't mean i'm going to stop going out and finding those fun things that remind me of some of the outfits that bond wears or some of the items bond wears but i'll probably be posting them on instagram but it's a little bit quicker way to get the information to you guys but i will never forget doing this series and having a lot of fun with it and going in, out on all those journeys to find the correct pieces and all the different locations that i've been to but this takes the cake this is the finale of the thrifting for bond series and i couldn't have picked a better finale than this. One of my all time favorite suits from the whole franchise, the whole series. I have now finally an homage to Sean Connery's Goldfinger suit. So that being said, I'm Christopher Morales and for the last time on the Thrifting for Bond series, thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoy and I will see you on the next video real soon. Take care and don't forget to always enjoy the hunt. See ya.